The advice and opinions expressed by Dr. Grant Pichet and her guests are meant solely as suggestion and should not be in any way construed as child-specific advice. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Pichet. Dr. Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. opportunities as I always say we have to look at these situations wonderful that you have the cousins I would start by talking to the parents and saying hey is it okay if we get our kids together so that we can actually uh, start working on certain behaviors and helping my child understand various things and, and and this is what happens with all kids right and it's, uh, I look at it as an opportunity to teach both sides, our kids, how to handle those types of scenarios, and the other kids how to be nice and, you know, share and turn-taking, and there's all of these types of things occur only when we have the opportunity to, to bring them into our daily lives. So I see it as a wonderful opportunity as long as uh, the parents of your, of your child's cousins are okay with it, I would bring them in more and actually be present and work on things like sharing turn-taking. And that actually leads to all the stuff we've been talking about, Shannon, which is how someone feels when something is taken away from them, how you know it's important to see things from someone else's perspective. All those things come in when you work on this. I was raised by passive-aggressive people. Uh, so I'm a, I, I, I'm a card-carrying, passive-aggressive person. Um, but so we taught our son all of the interest of developing his language, yeah. right? Yeah. That when you're playing with another kid and they're doing something very loudly language and that you go, you're taking my toys and that's hurting my feelings. Right, right. Right? Um, and that that calls the attention of it. It's very passive-aggressive. <laughs> But yeah. it calls the attention, yeah. and that you do this at school, too. Why are you kicking me? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That it calls, everybody looks and goes, whatever, that you language whatever is happening. I like it. I like that idea. Really? It's okay? No, it's totally. It's <laughs> because that's actually not, that's actually very good. Like, it's not passive aggressive at all. It's good because uh, a lot of times I've noticed kids, uh, when they are being bullied or when something happens, I mean, it's, in this scenario, it's not even really being bullied. It's just another child grabbing a toy. Yeah. But, but then the laughing at the crying. Yes, not that's good. not good. And when this, but so that's why I was saying, like, in a scenario like this, it would be important to have an adult present who can yes. redirect and work on things right then and there. Like bring your BT. Yeah, bring your BT if you have a BT. But the the reason I like what you said is because there are scenarios where kids, uh, when a child becomes a victim, they, they freeze and they become quiet. Yeah. And learning to say something very loud is a very protective thing. And so there's, um, there's a really good aspect to that. I like that. Don't forget, you can watch Ask Dr. Doreen live every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time. We hope to see you there.